The Reds and the Cubs getting downright wild at Wrigley on Thursday afternoon. The Blue Angels above Wrigley Field before the game. Those would not be the only things airborne before this one was all said and done. The Reds already have a 4-0 lead top two. It is Joey Votto digging in to face John Lester. 2-1 and 2 down. Here it comes. Fly ball. Hit back into deep left field. Schwarber looking up, gone. Opposite field, three-run bomb by Joey Votto, his 32nd of the year. This ball driven into left field, and into the basket she goes, and it's a 9-4 game. Now Feldman, and this ball hammered high and deep to center, and that's gone. 9-5 ball game. And the Cubs are not laying down, and they have let the crowd right back in it. Now you're starting to hear a bit of crowd noise. Oh, my goodness, that is way out of here. I mean, out of the ballpark. Fourth home run of the inning, fifth run of the inning. And the Cubby catcher hitting against a drawn-in infield. That's hammer. That ball is by the diving Duvall all the way to the wall. And almost unbelievably, the Cubs have come back from a 9-0 deficit. Oh, oh, Doctor, where in the world has this guy been all year? The young man out of Stanford. And I did not say Stanford. In the fourth inning, gave up three. Swing and a miss. Ooh. Went away. Two and two to count. Oh, what a win for the Reds today. The Reds salvage a split of the four-game series as they take it 13-10. The Cubs lose a game despite hitting six home runs for the first time since 1979 when they fell to the Phillies 23-22.